How's it been people? After a few weeks, I'm finally back with a new design. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you all know that this base is called the Chad Chamber for multiple reasons. It's small, solo, expandable, uh, it has a bunker design, sort of, uh, and it's just a very easy base to build without a lot of materials needed to be put into it. There will be, at the end of this video, an expanded version. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. And without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the tour of this design. So coming up to the front door, we have our airlock and we have our bunker design. Now to get through this, you just need to look where you're going and open the opposite door. You can do this on both sides, it's a very easy base and it's hard to get through. We also have three furnaces, a vending machine, two large boxes, five small boxes, a barbecue bag and our tier two. Coming through the garage door into the TC room, we have a load more boxes, as you know I like my storage, uh, and a load of small boxes. Also TC upkeep is very cheap. So that is the tour of the base, let's get into the build. But before we do that, I want to let you know I'll be giving away this gold and black Thompson. Uh, I'll be announcing the winner in my discord, the link will be in the description. So make sure you come and check that out. So we're going to start off with a low foundation, one high square foundation and a low triangle. We can then come into the square and place a high triangle foundation and we can start placing our low walls. After that we can place our walls to cover in the base and two doorways on the front. One of these will be for our vending machine later but for now, we'll cover it in with a door. From here, we go into the low foundation, we place a triangle and our tool cupboard. From here, we can go ahead and place our roof. We can then go ahead and make our airlock with a double door. For now, we can start placing some small boxes or large boxes. We're only going to place two for now, we can come behind us, place our level one and our sleeping bag. Now we can fit three furnaces in the airlock to this base, so we'll go ahead and do so. After that, once you have enough materials, we can come out to the front of the base place a low triangle foundation and start covering these in. Make sure you make this doorway out of wood if you plan to expand later. You also want to do the same for the roof. Now we can get our bunker made, so we're going to use a triangle roof and it's a little bit awkward but if you are consistent you can get it quite easily. Now you can still fit through it right now, whilst we go ahead and create our new airlock, you want the door swinging inwards like so. You can then go ahead and fit a floor triangle. Now with this door, you want to remove it and make sure it's swinging the other way. Push yourself through the gap and we can place the door the right way, like so. Push yourself back through and we can start working on the core. Now this bit will be in 2x speed, so if you want to speed it up, Use YouTube settings.
Now make sure you place this garage door before placing that last box where you may have to take all the stuff out and move the box. From here, we can go ahead and place our tier 2 and finish off the core. Again, this is in 2 times speed. From here, we can go ahead and remove this door and place our vending machine. Now to place this vending machine, you will need to remove the furnaces below, but you can easily replace them after. Like so. Now I'm not going to waste your time by replacing the furnaces, but we can move on to the next step. Now from here, it's just upgrading everything inside the base. Obviously, if you want to expand in the future, make sure you keep that wood. Now this is the final TC cost. Very cheap, very easy to maintain, especially if you have no plans in expanding. Now, you can easily put a lovely layer of honeycomb around this base if you have no plans to expand it upwards or outwards. Which in turn, if the core is fully armoured, makes it a 15 rocket raid. You can also go ahead and make your doors armoured for all of that extra protection. Or, if you maybe want to see me design something a bit like this for the 2x1, then let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and peace out.